The uh, area we were doing the conversion over is Route 62, coming from a residential area, expands into an expressway, and it exits onto Interstate 77. The first phase of the project took in about a mile, mile and a half of converting uh, high-mast lighting towers to uh, LED lighting fixtures on those, replacing the existing high-pressure sodium-style uh, roadway luminaires. Uh, the second phase will probably happen sometime yet this year. Uh, most of the towers had 400-watt uh, high-mast fixtures on them. Most of them were four fixtures per tower. There were some at the, the key interchange areas that had six uh, luminaires per tower. The project actually, I guess, came from the, the fact that I, I brought in a new fixture sample of the uh, high mast LED uh, second generation fixture. Uh, they had seen first generation and, and really didn't move too much towards going that way until I brought in a newer technology, higher lumen output, lower cost, and all of a sudden struck a nerve. And we started talking and put together a little bit of a, a lighting analysis to see what kind of performance we would expect. What we've seen is that the um, roadway lighting is so much more comfortable to drive through. We're nearly exclusively LEDs at this point already in terms of our roadway and infrastructure type components. I think it improves the overall safety, it improves uh, you know, during during rain events, it, it brings allows the the roadway pavement markings to still reflect through, versus being washed out by the pink lighting or the, the orangish lighting of a high pressure sodium. So it became a combination of, you know, the safety components, the aesthetic components of it, reducing energy consumption, the amount of money we've been saving on an annual basis is phenomenal. The savings that we were designing for, which is around 30%, 35%, total savings annually around $13,000 approximately, according to the cost of the kilowatt hour rate per, for, for the years to come. Uh, that gives us a, a payback time, considering only energy savings around uh, four and a half years to five years. When you'd include, uh, including the maintenance that uh, you are not doing now for having such an uh, efficient uh, kind of technology, and uh, that would be another probably four to five thousand dollars, would give us a payback time for the whole project under four years or three and a half years approximately. We have you know, fixtures that are able to provide the same amount or more light for half the energy. The maintenance costs are going to go away and a uh, very long life expectancy for these light fixtures. So you have the energy savings and then the maintenance component as well. You know, LED lights, you know, you're looking at maybe 10 years. And, and uh, going back to our, our beginnings in the traffic signals, on a regular basis, the crews were out changing incandescent bulbs on traffic signals. We've pretty much gotten out of that business altogether. Uh, it's really allowed us to improve our city overall. So I'd, I'd say you got to get get into the, the game. Uh, LEDs, uh, they're the w way of the future. Uh, there's so many benefits to them. Uh, we believe that we are doing the, the right thing. And, and, and again, sometimes when you change something that the common driver or the vehicle is, is, is used to see, you know, on a daily basis, and all of a sudden you change it and get no complaints, we take it as a good indication that it's doing very well. So my recommendation to the, the folks that haven't done this before, do it. But do it in a, in a smart, educated fashion because the benefits are tremendous. No brainer. You have to go and do it. Find the money, money and do the job because it's, it's pay by itself. Mm -hmm.